big news coming in. Baltimore Bridge that's collapsed. A ship that has collided with the bridge, eventually bringing down the bridge. Many of the vehicles there that's plunged into waters. On cam, footage there showing a large ship ramming into the Maryland Bridge that's led to this collapse. Francis Scott Bridge collapse. That's uh, caught on cameras. There you see many cars that were flying through have plunged into waters. Uh, they are, of course, trying to recover those people who have, with their cars, plunged into the waters below in Baltimore. A very, very tragic visual there coming in of a bridge, the Baltimore Bridge that's collapsed. Cars plunging into water as the bridge caves in. Chopper and rescue teams that are currently on the crash site. A cargo ship has slammed into the support column that's led to the bridge collapse. Authorities say they are trying to rescue at least seven people after this Baltimore bridge collapse. Very uh, gripping visuals that are coming to fall there. You see that bridge there that's going down, literally collapsing like a pack of cards. The Baltimore bridge that's collapsed, le leading to multiple cars that's plunged into water. In fact, at this point, the rescue teams are trying to recover those people. At least uh, seven people, they believe, have fallen into the water with their cars. Now, the number could increase. At this point, uh, the Baltimore authorities say that they are aware of the incident, where rather the number of cars that have fallen in. They have zeroed down to seven people who may have fallen into the water with their cars. Recovery is currently on, but this 1.6 mile four lane Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore has collapsed, and that's the visual that's coming in. I'm going to cut across to Geeta Mohan, joining us for more on that. Geeta, very shocking visuals there uh, showing the Baltimore Bridge, which is quite a busy one, a four lane bridge. I can only wonder the number of cars that are flying on it have literally collapsed like a pack of cards. What happened? Well, Nabila, this is a ship that uh, was uh, tra was going under the bridge, and uh, uh, surprisingly, because uh, we've not seen or uh, or witnessed such an accident where it has gone under the bridge, and without gauging the distance or the or the space between the bridge and the ship, it did hit the bridge, which led to the collapse of the bridge, uh, also the destruction of the ship. It's a container, uh, but uh, we, what we were given to understand last from reports is that seven people were feared in water. Uh, we do not know whether if there have been any reported confirmed uh, casualties so far but uh, uh, this is a very serious one because there were no alarms that went off uh, and uh, uh, the fact that there are no alarm systems that went off and the ship went and, uh, uh, and, and led to the uh, crashing of the bridge clearly shows that there will be an investigation that will have to be carried out on what really happened, what really transpired. These are initial reports that are coming in oh, but the visuals speak volumes back. of what uh, uh, what really took place over there with the ship going under the bridge, hitting the uh, bridge and the bridge leading to its collapse and also uh, fearing uh, there could be uh, casualties in this entire incident in the case. All right. Uh, well, what we know here is that seven people with their cars have plunged into waters, but very hard to believe that, that there were just seven cow cars flying through. Uh, this happened at what time, Geeta? Was it midnight? Uh, that, then, we, then we can expect low traffic. Give us more details on uh, the, the key link that this bridge establishes. Well, uh, a very important point, Nabila, you make. It was about 1.30 a.m. that this incident took place. And the reason why there aren't uh, many uh, vehicles, uh, there weren't many vehicles flying on the bridge. Uh, but this could have been, if it were any other time uh, or peak hour, this could have uh, spelt disaster. It already is a disaster with the kind of loss that, uh, that, that the state uh, would, uh, would be seeing. Uh, collapse of a bridge, uh, the destruction of a tanker, of, of a container, a vessel. And and uh, people now uh, in water, uh, the rescue operations that were underway, uh, th those are the reports that we, uh, that we have of uh, when the incident occurred. And uh, as of now, we do not have details. But yes, uh, the mayor uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, Brandon M. Scott and Baltimore County executive uh, both posted those emergency personnel uh, who were responding uh, to, the, to, the, to the entire incident that took place. So rescue efforts underway.
All right, thanks very much, uh, Geeta, for joining us. We're very shocking visuals that are coming in off the Baltimore Bridge where a cargo ship is set to have uh, rammed into a support column leading to this bridge collapsing quite literally like a pack of cards. Seven people in danger with their cars were plunged into waters. Their rescue efforts currently on.